Hey everybody, you're watching a physio named Jonah. That's this guy. Today, this video that you're watching right now is my 100th full length video that I have uploaded onto YouTube. So in celebration of this, I wanted to do something a little bit different to commemorate the occasion. I don't talk a ton about my personal life on this channel, I tend to keep mostly focused towards PT, but this video will be a departure from that trend. I'm going to talk a bit about my life outside of YouTube, my day to day, things that I'm interested in right now, as well as some pretty big life things that I've got going on. I'll also talk a bit about where I'm at from a PT perspective, um, things that I'm interested in right now, things that I want to do more of, where I see myself professionally, a bit of that as well as a bit about YouTube and where I'm doing on the platform right now and what I maybe want to do more of or less of, so let's find out. But let's not bury the lead here. I want to talk about something very big that happened for me and my wife, which is that we got married in June of 2023. I'm going to put up on the screen at this point some pictures of the wedding, some of the different shots. We actually just got back our gallery today, so I might have some pictures that I literally just got uh, today from the wedding, even though it was in June, so hope you are enjoying those. Our wedding day, we got married in Killarney, which is a smaller town south of Sudbury, it's kind of on the Georgia Bay. It is an absolutely beautiful location where they had a lodge, we were able to do the entire wedding get married on the lawn, have our reception, cocktail hour up on the patio inside the place. It was unbelievably spectacular. Nicole and I planned the wedding for <laughs> the better part of two years, um, really trying to focus on what it was going to be, what was important to us, uh, with the people who were there with us being like of the utmost importance and it being this big celebration of our, our love and of our relationship and of the intentions for our future marriage. It was a really really big day and it was just perfect. It was the best weather we could have possibly hoped for. Everything went according to plan and I just, I couldn't say enough about it without it coming across as incredibly hyperbolic because it was undoubtedly the best day of my life. It was so special to have everybody, the most important people in the entire world there with me to get to declare my love for my wife in front of everyone, become the emotional wreck that I, I, I can be when <laughs> I'm um, feeling that very intense love in front of all of our family and friends. Uh, it was amazing, in a word. That wedding was a day unlike anything else I'll probably ever experience in this lifetime and a memory that I hope to just hold in the absolute depths of my heart for the rest of my life and forever. If you're watching this right now, Nicole, I love you so much. You're the most amazing wife of all time. And yeah, I'm super excited to be married and our wedding was amazing. So let's move on from there. With that in mind, let's move on to our fuzzy family uh, that you've likely seen throughout different parts of my videos at this point if you've been watching the channel for a while. So why don't we go and meet them individually? This little one is hanging out beside me as I'm editing this video um, that this video is actually going into. This is Luna. Luna is our big black cat. She is a wonderful, sweet little creature. Say hi, Luz. Oh, look at those big green eyes. Wonderful, sweet little thing. Very mischievous, loves to wake you up at five in the morning and is uh, about as lovable of a cat as you can possibly get. Right, big cat? Yeah. Here's your big Luna girl. This, this is our big girl Stella. She is a Bernadoodle and she is, well, I mean, this is how she is when we spend a lot of time inside. She is a wonderful, sweet, big dog who, when you look at her now, you'd never know that she's like the most energetic dog possible on the trail and loves to run laps and full speed and bound through the trees because She's a big girl. She's a big, tall, beautiful poodle, but is a wonderful, sweet little creature who we've had for the past few years, and is pretty good friends with Luna. It's going along quite well. Luna apparently really wants to be on camera. As I was coming down to film this, uh, Luna and Stella have decided that I'm not allowed to leave, and that. This is where we're gonna spend our time, so. This is a this is pretty good representation of the life with the little fuzzballs. Yeah, that's you. And this is our final little dog, Ozzy, our sweet little cavapoo. 
who is a lot smaller than his big sister there and is the most loyal little creature hanging out here in the kitchen while Nicole is cooking. Not interested in what I'm doing at all downstairs on the computer. He's our sweet little, He's our sweet little fella. Looking after our fuzzy family is a huge part of what I love about the life that Nicole and I have with each other. Um, our daily walks with them, getting them up for exercises, doing the nightly snuggles on the couch. It's all a really, really special, wonderful part of our life. The dogs are also a very big part of my workout and exercise life as well because I, walking with them is always a great baseline, but I do my trail running with Ozzy and Stella running around off leash in some of the trails that we have up here in Sudbury. And I'll also run around our neighborhood with Stella on her leash. Uh, and that is another way that I get out and get running. So I've got a pretty good running baseline throughout the week just by taking the dogs for trail runs and neighborhood runs. Otherwise, in the past few months to a year, I have been doing more resistance training, um, weighted workouts, uh, in our basement here, which is where I work out. I've been doing more of it, but it's also something I would like to do even more of in the next little while. I really enjoy resistance training. It's something that I find a lot of passion and energy in, and it's just not something I don't think I make enough time for. Maybe adding a little bit of creativity into some of my home workouts, um, ways to make things more difficult or challenging is a great way that I could maybe make myself more motivated to do it. But I think honestly just carving out a bit more time and like being more diligent with a routine would be helpful. For me it's very easy for me to fall away from routine if it's not very established. Once it is I'm pretty good but if it's not I kind of tend to fall away from it. I think I'm doing enough mobility work at this point. As a physio I've definitely spent more time in the past little while focused on movement, mobility and sort of like general exercise mobility trying to like mobilize certain joints. Hello left hip, that has been an issue that I've been working on and as I've been mobilizing it's been helping my back pain but I do think that actual resistance training is something I would like to do more of so look for that in the next little while. Might be leading into some more videos, we will see but that's something else that's just in my life right now. Coming out of the summer, one of the main activities I was spending my time doing uh, the most popular sport I was playing was golfing. I spent a lot more time golfing this past summer than I have in pretty much any summer previously since I was like 15 or 16 and spending more time with it really reignited my passion and love of spending time on the golf course and golfing. So that was a really awesome thing that I got to spend my time doing this past summer. It kind of blended in with something I'm interested in professionally right now with golf, but I'll talk more about that in a little bit. When I do go golfing, my dad is my golfing partner and it is so much fun to be able to spend time out on the course with him. I mean, I think I enjoy golf on its own, but getting to spend time with my dad, out doing something that we both enjoy, does make it just that much more special. So golf is very special and important to me because I love the sport, but also because it's a great time that I get to spend with my dad. Talking right now about sports, um, this is a huge time of sports for my wife and I because we are pretty big football and hockey fans. Uh, football especially around this time of year with the NFL takes up a lot of our time in terms of what we're engaging with um, on the sports world because we both play fantasy football a lot, which is why in terms of YouTube viewership you may see me posting things about players getting injured, things happening there. I'm very just like checked into the football world because of fantasy and playing there anyway. So the rehab side of my brain is very interested in people getting injured. So it kind of makes sense to do some little shorter videos there. I'm doing more shorts I think this year than previously because it's easier to like stay on top of things a little bit more. That might be something you see more of as the football year goes on. Let me know in the comments section if that's something you're interested in. We play fantasy in a league that has my wife Nicole, my dad, and some of our friends in town. I also play in a league with some of my friends from Norway. Um, what's up reclined athletes? Love you guys. It is such a fun way to stay in contact with each other. We love it and hey, who knows? Maybe I'll actually even get to win our home league one day. Maybe, if my wife ever decides to stop winning. She has won two years in a row. But who knows, maybe she'll feel a little bit more generous and she'll let somebody else win this year. We'll see, I'm not convinced though. The night that I'm filming this is actually the opening night for our favorite hockey team, the Toronto Maple Leafs. So maybe there will be some hockey injury videos that are kind of upcoming throughout the sports year. Who knows, we spend a lot of time in, in and around the sports world and watching hockey and football, so that may bleed its way into the YouTube channel with um, just the interest in sports and injuries in general. All right, I think I've hidden this section behind enough at this point. Um, time for another announcement of a very big 
incredibly exciting life thing that Nicole and I are actually going through right now, which is the fact that, I'll put a picture over here or something, um, my wife, Nicole, is pregnant, which means that we are gonna be parents and I am going to get to be a dad. I am just so excited to get to be a father. I mean, this is something that my wife and I have wanted for a little bit of time. I know we just got married, but we've been talking about it since before that point. Getting to be parents, getting to be her partner and a parent and bringing new life into this world. Um, kind of crazy and kind of crazy that I'm talking about it on just a, a YouTube channel where I talk about rehab and, and make some goofy videos. I really puts things in, in perspective getting to know that you will be a parent and there's I think there's just so much excitement and anticipation at this point that I almost really don't even know what to say about it. Um, baby is due in the spring of 2024. I should probably get working on my dad jokes if I'm gonna be a parent. I think the dad jokes would fit the brand of this channel in general, but having a baby, if you're already going to the comment section, we don't know if it's boy or girl, um, just such such a blessing, such an incredible thing that is going on. And it's it's nice to actually be able to talk about it now because you know that first little bit you don't tell anybody, you don't sort of share it. It's really kind of like odd that like the biggest, most incredible thing in your life is like this sort of secret. Well, now I'm sharing it with you all on YouTube. So yeah, just permanent little joy. Well, that was some pretty big news and changes that I have going on at this point in my life. Why don't we finish off with some of the things I've got going on professionally and upcoming for YouTube. As a PC, I've gotten really interested in a couple areas of rehab at this point. Um, golfers is an area that both has a significant professional as well as personal interest for me. Professionally, because I think the sport of golf and the movement of the golf swing is incredibly fascinating. Uh, the blend of technique and a sport with having to move your body in a very specific yet fluid way that produces a measurable outcome. Um, very satisfying to the dorky rehab part of my brain that loves just how people move. So that is an area that I'm really enjoying working with and I want to try and figure out how to do more with working golfers in my community. So that may be something you hear more about in the next little while, but for now golfing is an area that I'm super passionate about working with patients on. I really also like working with athletes who are coming off of ACL surgeries. I find the rehab after an ACL surgery or a knee injury like that is really engaging and very motivating to work with. The patients that I've gotten to work with go through that. It's some of the most meaningful patient experiences I've gotten to kind of um, share with patients as a therapist because you see them for so long and the starting point and the ending point are just so vastly different that I really enjoy that population. I also like working with shoulder injuries and pretty much anything that has resistance training or functional movements. So I'm kind of moving my way I think and practice a little bit to blend more towards that, which is a little more functional movements, training and sort of just movement analysis and kind of tweaking in general. I find that very mentally engaging and satisfying, but also I really enjoy the results I've been getting with working with patients more in that sort of way. So that's kind of where my head is at professionally at this point. From a YouTube perspective, there's a few things to go over. So why don't we start here? First off, it's really cool where this channel has already grown to. Uh, the number of people I've been able to reach is kind of crazy at times when I think of it's just me making some goofy videos about rehab and the fact that I love physio and how the body moves. Uh, if you've been following along with the channel, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. This is so cool that I get to do this. I love kind of engaging with you guys this way. Please leave me comments, get in touch. Like it's, I, I really do enjoy the feedback back and forth. Um, thank you. I love this. I've been making more shorts videos recently and just more shorts form content in general, whether it's for YouTube shorts or Insta or TikTok. I definitely enjoy making the short form videos. It's a little bit, it's nice to be able to make like a short one-off kind of like thought if I have an idea for something um, and just keep engaged in the YouTube world a little bit more because things can get busy and long form videos are a little bit obviously much more time consuming to film, edit, script, and then and put together. So it's nice to be able to stay engaged. I'm probably gonna keep a balance of both. 
I like doing the longer form, but mix some shorts in. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, if there's things that you think would be better as shorts or long videos. Again, I'm very open to communication, so let me know. In terms of next steps, I'm likely going to keep doing some of the football NFL injury videos during the football season. Um, hockey injuries maybe something that starts coming up, especially if I'm more engaged in the hockey season. This year, I often just follow the Leafs very closely, so if I start spending more time with the whole league, maybe I'll incorporate some more injuries there. Um, I have a couple other projects upcoming for YouTube that I'm going to keep under wraps, but you'll probably see them soon. I've been interested in maybe making some more anatomy videos, so that might be coming up on the horizon, as well as maybe making some more money videos, because it seems as though you guys tend to enjoy those and respond to those, so watch out for those upcoming relatively soon. If you stuck around to this point in the video, you must be either a very diehard viewer or my wife or my mom, so thanks for sticking around to this point, guys. Um, super cool, again, to be able to do this. Hope you enjoy this bit of like a look behind the curtain, peel back in a bit of a different way. Obviously not the way that I'm going to be doing all videos moving forwards. I have the PT kind of style. I'm, the channel is going to stay mostly focused on the world of physio. I can incorporate more of like what I'm doing and sort of some like personal like exercise and work workout kind of things as we go if that's interesting. But in general, thank you guys so much for watching. It really is cool to, be able to make this for you and I'm hoping you enjoyed it. Please get in touch with me in the comment section below if you have anything you want to ask me, get in touch about, like I do read all the comments and I try and respond relatively quickly. So I do legitimately look forward to chatting with you there. But most importantly guys, as always, as I've said almost a hundred times before, because I think I made this outro in like episode three or something, move your body, have a laugh today, and I will see you sometime in the next hundred videos. Talk to you later.